Hello, today I would like to address a question that I was asked about how to touch up paint on vintage black sewing machines. Today we're going to talk about it, but before we do, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell to receive updates. Before any painting takes place, I always use a glass cleaner on the surface just to make sure that there is no grease on the surface before painting takes place. Then I go behind that with a tack cloth just to get rid of any dust or particles that might be there. Once all of that is done, then it is time to work on painting. I initially had no idea what type of paint to use on this surface. So I had to do some digging online and I found this blog that I really like a lot called Pungo Living Home and I'll try to link them down in the description box below. They recommended using lamp black paint from GM and I think that this color paint matches very well with the Japaning method that was used on the vintage sewing machines. So what I'm going to do is just go in and touch up all of the areas with this lamp black paint and we'll see what it turns out like. While I'm here touching up this Singer 20, I might as well go over some of the things I found interesting inside of this blog article and give my commentary. Um, the part that I want to address reads as follows. In every black Singer sewing machine restoration, I find small paint chips on the edge of the bed, balance wheel, and often on the sewing arm. While usually they are small cosmetic imperfections in a sewing machine restoration, it is important to address them. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. I think it's important to address these issues because if you don't, they continue to grow. Uh, I'm now going to do the same touch up method on my Singer Featherweight along the edge there, the paint is missing. So I'm just going to go in with a small brush and just fix those areas because if I don't, the crack will suddenly become the entire paint job needing to be redone. So that is why I do it. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to pull out from this article was that, uh, more about the Japaning method. Singer's original black Japan paint included a mix of carbon black powder and lacquer. The machine was twice dipped in the black Japan paint and oven cured. I found several vintage black Japan recipes online that supposed to be the recipe Singer used, but I cannot confirm or reproduce it, I'm sure. Okay, so I don't necessarily think it would be easy to do the Japaning method on a machine simply because of how complicated the process was, but we certainly can get a close match with regular paint. And so far, I think that the GM paint is looking good. Okay, so this is the final results of the Singer Featherweight. You can tell just a tad bit there that I did a touch up but you can barely tell any difference. If I buff that some more, then you won't be able to tell at all. On the hand wheel here where I did the touch up paint, you really cannot tell at all that I did any touch up. And I really went around and touched up around this whole thing because there were a lot of places where the black paint was missing. On the back here where I showed you on film, you can no longer see that there was ever any black paint missing from that edge there. So I overall, I really do think that the GM Black works well for any vintage Singer sewing machine that was painted with a Japaning method. Uh, let's go and look at the Singer 20 child sewing machine that I touched up earlier. The child sewing machine turned out equally as well. And you really cannot tell that I really painted over this surface. Now there are a few bumps in the paint surface there because I really did not go about sanding it down to the base level to repaint it. And I don't think it would have been a good idea to sand off all of that paint and to repaint it entirely. Uh, I just wanted to not do any further damage to the machine. All I did was just uh, basically paint over what was already there and it looks 100% better and now we won't have any problems with that paint continuing to chip and cause problems because I've sealed it off. 
I probably will put a protective cover around here though so that when the C-clamp goes on the machine it won't cause any damage to the paint. I really do hope that this will inspire you to perhaps get some GM lamp black paint for your vintage Singer Swan machine that has the Japaning on it because it really has worked well for this. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content. Peace.